Is anybody surprised that Trump has pled not guilty to 37 counts in the classified documents case? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry, let's go to Gabe Gutierrez. Gabe is out right now. Uh, Gabe, what can you tell us? Uh, hey there, Lester. Well, uh, we just uh, ran out of the courthouse in an overflow room where some reporters were able to listen to the proceedings, which are still underway. Just moments ago, the counts of four former presidents, Trump, Todd Blanch, entered a plea of not guilty on behalf of the former president. President, former President Trump is sitting inside that room and at the defense table, he's sitting at the same table as Walt Nada, his alleged co-conspirator. Um, we can tell you we were able to see through a video feed, again, the proceedings still underway, and the former president had his hands crossed on that table. The judge in this case, the magistrate judge, uh, just uh, had arrived, Jonathan Goodman, and was going through several procedural steps. The defense waived the uh, reading of the entire indictment, which is typical uh, in, uh, in this court system. And so now uh, the proceeding continues uh, to be underway. Again, the former president pleading not guilty on this sweeping 37 count indictment. I can tell you that he also appeared with uh, co-counsel. Um, Chris Kyes, a Florida-based counsel. Todd Blanche also is representing him. He is, of course, the well-known white-collar defense attorney from New York. Stan Woodward, another attorney, is also in the room. He is representing Walt Nada. Um, there were several members of the special counsel's office there, the prosecutors, I'm gonna list them, Judy Edelston, Jay Bratt. And I wonder, I wonder how long the, uh, how long the court is going to take uh, for Trump to have everything uh, done today. I don't assume, uh, I, I just assume this is like him being read his charges and him just going to be pleading guilty or not guilty and then they're going to have his court, his actual court date in a few months. And David Harbuck, again, this uh, all uh, unfolded over the past few minutes, Lester. The proceedings began just before three o'clock. We did not see the former president enter uh, the room, the video feed start up when he was already seated. It is a packed room. There were some members of the public there, as well as members of the media. And again, we were let in early this morning. We were taken to a media overflow room. No phones, no uh, devices of any kind were allowed. Um, this is an unprecedented uh, arraignment, Lester, as I'm sure you've been discussing, the federal arraignment of the former president. Now, Todd Blanche, again, this is different than what we saw in New York um, several months ago. In New York, the former president got up and said the words not guilty himself. In this particular case, he let the attor his attorney, Todd Blanche, uh, do the talking, saying we most certainly plead not guilty. Again, the proceeding is ongoing. Um, just before uh, the arra actual arraignment started, we were told the former president was booked, that he had his fingerprint taken uh, with a digital uh, device. And again, we we're told that he did not have a mugshot taken here that uh, they would use. Uh, ain't Trump special. He doesn't have to have a mugshot taken. Uh, a previous photo that no mugshot uh, would be uh, would be taken here. So again, that's the latest we have from inside the courtroom. The former president of the United States pleading not guilty to this indictment.